this movie was something else and probably got one of the highest kill counts in a horror movie ever. It's Dude Bro Party Massacre 3 with like 4,000 fucking kills because of all kinds of different shit like the river flooding, bombs, all kinds of dumb stuff. Um, the basic plot of the movie is apparently these years college guys that are assholes and do pranks it ends up killing people so you know a few people like Patton Oswald and a few others are trying to um kill them so they don't have to deal with that anymore it doesn't work because they get killed besides Patton Oswald he survives and complains at the end of the movie that his plane didn't go the way he wanted though um so you know they accidentally got this one girl killed Actually, she didn't get killed. She got injured by fire. So she tried to get revenge by killing them. And they ended up killing her. Some of them survived. Then a second one came out and she was the daughter of the person they injured and now killed. So she tried to get revenge and then they killed her. Those two things are shown in flashbacks. So the whole joke of this movie is Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. It's not a third movie. It's the third massacre. The other two massacres have already happened. So, you know, they show us them. Um, now the third massacre is here. And, you know, for a second they try and do this little plot twist and trick you into thinking that um, the killer the whole time has been Ronald Reagan, one of our worst presidents ever. But, you know, clearly it wasn't because they literally said earlier in the movie that it was the other daughter. Because she confronts one of them. And before she kills him, she says, I'm, you know, the sister of Motherface. So, like, I don't even know why they tried to do that plot twist when they already showed that it wasn't true. So, you know, fucking someone dressed up like Rogan, Ronald Reagan shows up for like a second. He's like, oh, how'd you figure it out? But, you know, he's just hallucinating. No surprise there. Then he turns into like this big fucking super buff guy because um he had absorbed the bodies of all of his dead bros or some shit it was really goofy and then he he, he kills motherface by like absolutely destroying her it was, it was a really cool kill and then that was really it the, there isn't much to this movie it, it's kind of fun if not really boring at times but I wouldn't recommend watching it.